to us in the past that to be a short seller you have to have a thick skin. We heard from the uh, NYSE president uh, this week and he said that short selling against a company feels kind of icky and un-American. Are you un-American, Carson? No, I'm not un-American. And I think in this day and age, probably the least American thing that anybody can do is just accept without question things that they're told. So we as short sellers in the marketplace, we are the people who are really the ultimate the ultimate seekers of truth and the ones asking the hard questions when unfortunately a lot of the market seem to be you know wanting to just close their eyes and buy so no I take issue with that I think the suppression of critical thought is icky and un-American but he has a point in some ways Carson because what you've done in recent times is that you've pre-announced that you're going to be short selling in a market, whether it was Hong Kong and Canada, two very recent examples, and you've created a shakedown in, in those markets. And at some point, do you have to second guess your behavior, the responsibility of what you do with the information that you have when you are pretty potent to a marketplace? Well, look, I think, I mean, to be, to be completely realistic here, if I tweet, coming out with a Canadian short, there's no reason anything in Canada should move until we talk about what it is that we're short. If I say that I'm, and actually when I was on Bloomberg in Hong Kong, it was strange because I thought I stated the most obvious thing in the world. I'm a short seller who has just gotten off a 15 hour flight to speak at an investment conference in Hong Kong. Well, I'm not going to be talking about Rhodesian stocks. I'm talking about a Hong Kong listed stock. So the fact that I stated what I thought was extremely obvious and 50 stocks tanked, that says a lot more about the market than it does about short sellers or what we do. Does it? Does it really? Because when you come out and say you're going to go short, like today with this uh, Prothena stock, it's down 8%. So there's a lot of people suggesting when they look at this, perhaps in your announcement, this could be my stock. This could be one that I'm invested in. So that there is well, a ripple effect you, and investors are, aren't sure. There are thousands of stocks listed in the US. Why would somebody take a pre-announcement and decide that they should short? I mean, if I'm really that powerful, I would think that I, you know, I would have arrived in the studio in a helicopter. I didn't. Okay, people should not assume when I could be talking about one of thousands of stocks that it's their stock. So if you take a market like Hong Kong, 50 stocks sell off, well I think that tells you that those are 50 stocks that are probably extremely poor quality and that investors are duly worried about that. And if they're so worried about it, they maybe shouldn't be try to, trying to surf these bubbles basically. That's why it says a lot more about the market. So you're saying Hong Kong and Canada are bubbles? Mm, the individual stocks could be bubbles. I mean, I'm not familiar with the theses, long or short, on the, st the other stocks that went down. But yeah, I mean, if you are, if you're so, if your belief in a stock is so tenuous that when somebody says they're shorting something in the market and you own one of thousands of possibilities and you dump it as a result of it, well, that tells me you're actually not very convicted about why you own that company. So, and no so regrets. you're probably not owning it for fundamental reasons. So you have no regrets. Why would I?